Hey, what's up, everybody? This is B with the Untitled Game Show.com. If you're like me right here and you visited the second Archstone from the Nexus and Demon Souls, I just downloaded it free from the PlayStation Plus, but it's also available in stores as well. You can buy it, and there's a link down below to buy a copy from Amazon. If you don't have PlayStation Plus, that is. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to get from, well, right here, this chaotic lava infested place. You can walk inside the lava and not get, you will get burned, but I had the fire wing on, so I'm only level 35. I had a character in the game with like almost 100, but my save got deleted anyway, so I'm going to show you guys how to get back from, well, picking up the dragon sword. That is the sword I'm about to show you right now in my menus. That's what you actually get for coming all the way down here from what I found. This is like the first time I've actually went all the way down here, even though I've played the game before and I got pretty far in the game. Somehow I just missed this area. This is an area with patches as well. So you get a dragon long sword. Um, as you see right here, it's 91. And, it's, and they give you at least plus one. You pick it up right here. There's a little cavernous right here. But once you get here, how the hell do you get back to, well, where you came from? You could go up here. And as you see, you, there's a little pathway up here as well. You go up there, but I'm going to get to that in a second. And this leads you back to this area right here, which basically just leads you back to the beginning. But let me give you guys simple and straight instructions so not to confuse everybody. Because because I know where I'm going, sort of, that makes it easier. So if you get to this area right here, right when you walk in the tunnel and you see the big guys, you're like, what the hell, can I even fight them? Yes, you most likely can fight them if you're at least 30 or higher. Is it worth it? I don't think so, not with the lava there, because the lava's going to kill you a lot faster than the slugs. Go ahead, pick up the items, go in here, grab the item that's on the floor, just walk right past them, and you need to turn around and go back after you grab everything, which might be a little tricky because there's a lot of hidden pathways. So first, you want to run through this tunnel right here. If you go straight, it's going to take you to another secret area, but we don't need to go there. You're going to need to go back up this hallway. I didn't fight this guy. To get past this guy, I actually lured him out of the way. And seeing as I can't lure him out of the way again, as you see the pathway is right there, he's in my freaking way, I'm gonna have to, um, it's like, yeah, there is no way for me to get past him. I'm gonna have to fight him. So this is gonna be one of the first fights I might get to get back. So I get to try out my new dragon sword, which is fast. Dragon longsword, that is. Not the Drake sword from Deep Dark Souls. Did a hell lot of Dark Souls. So after this, I'm also going to be doing a video for my dude, Killer Snake. It might be an echo for a second, so I'm going to just turn down the echo. Right, back to fighting. Now these slugs are really, really slow, so you'll be able to hit them up for a long time without having to worry about taking damage or anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep the max flashing on so it's not going to You don't really need to lock on, but if you want to, let me go to two um, two handed. Good thing about these caves, they're so big, it makes it really hard for them to turn around. So they won't be able to hit you, because the only way they really hit you is either by jumping on you, or they try to spit out like a needle, it seems like, out of their mouth. But here he goes, he's about to turn back around. Once he turns around, I'm not going to start blocking or I'm going to have to actually um, just dodge out of the way. Which I am very surprised, this big mother effer. There you go, you see the needle. Seeing as I have no more health, literally none, because I use all of it trying to run through the lava to pick up the stuff. I came here with about 30 because I've never been here with the lava. And basically ate up most of my health. I'm going to try to play this a little smart. And not get hit as well as I hit anyways. But. I'm okay taking my time. If you play Dark Souls or Demon Souls, you know taking your time is key in these games. But this is all just to get back after picking up the long dragon long sword in this area that I don't even know what's called. If I actually knew the area with this area, I actually might put it in the video once I figure that out. But at the moment, I don't know what it's called. But actually, maybe if I get him to this open area right here, about maybe about to circle around him. I actually didn't think that he would actually come in here because you can't circle yourself around. But oh, he will come in here. No, he won't. He's gonna back up. 
Ooh, just the right second. So when you see it like that, that means that the shield put me back. Let me just heal myself. I am a tower knight, so I have some healing ability. Magic. I usually hardly ever use it unless it's emergency when I ran out of health. I came here actually fight like the spider. <laughs> the armored spider, but somehow I just ended up down here, which is something I thought. And I just said I wanna fight it again, but then I said, hmm, let me go down this path. So I was waiting for some friends to get online to play. Because Dark Souls is a lot easier. It's a lot easier to summon friends than it was in Dark Souls. <laughs> Level base. All right, I'm trying not to get hit again. Cause there might be more enemies I have to fight when I go back up. Cause I probably just ran right past them. Yes, they are. There's some worms. There's three worms standing my path. So I back up to the sign. Now, of course, you guys can use items to teleport you guys back if you want to, but sometimes it's needed. You can fight your way out. And especially if you don't have it, it might be your only option. So let's continue. He's running away from me. Or she or it. Alright, when it dies, they explode. Run away. Oh my god. This is a piece of shit. Alright, I need to get some MP so I can heal myself. As you see that other spirit over there, he's gonna be like the same thing I thought. So at the moment, I am in human form, so I'm not going to be trying to die. Let's see what he drops. Shard of the Dragon Soul. So, if you guys don't know what that is, it basically is this. It's a fossilized lava. And yes, there is plenty of lava here. So the Shard of the Dragon Soul is bone fossilized by lava. Enhances sword, axes, and hammers. So that's what I've seen like every one of these guys drop, it seems like. So if you guys need these, oh crap, I do not need to do that. I gotta wait for that MP. Whatever. Since I have no other health on me, I need to do that. Let me, before I continue, let me change my ring. Because I did put on the fire ring just to um, walk through the fire, as soon as I don't need it. Uh, lose less HP when in soul form. I'm so, uh, Let's use this one right here. break right there just have to check something anyways there's two paths right here you can take left and right the reason this is important the left path the part you used to come here and you hide behind you pass it bypass the creature either way going back doesn't really matter they both take you to the same place you do need to be worried about those lights you see because those lights are usually not always just enemies um lights there actually could be enemies that explode and basically kill you and you'll get to here where there's actually two paths take the left one if I remember, oh sorry, I'm sorry, right, 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 see, even I don't remember everything 100% correctly, but we'll make our way back, I killed most enemies on my way here, this was a fog gate, so that's why it's like this, there's worms here, I ran past them last time, and I don't feel like fighting them now, I just don't like fighting them because they can knock you off, I killed that one right there, and there is nothing else down here except for these little flying with ones that will pull you off and knock you off, so get away from them. So let me move my way up. Now we'll be on our way back to where we actually met the patches. I just noticed this. That item is up there. I guess the only way I need to get up there, I need to roll off something and get that. Alright, I'm going to try to get that. I must have missed that last time I was playing. And up there we have three worms waiting for us to kill us. How I came down here, I rolled off, and I didn't realize those worms were going to pop up. So they're a lot harder to fight this way because they could knock me off. But here we go anyways. I got a new sword, so I don't got much health to waste on them. So one of them's hard enough, so whatever. 
Let's see if I can just run past him. It's kind of look right now. Kind of perfectly. Yes, I can. Yep, I ran past him because I don't really feel like fighting three of them with hardly any help. But, oh yeah, this one also right here too. He, um, if you notice, there's items right here. You can just jump right behind them without fighting him. But any of the ones that don't fight, that basically means that I found another way to get past them. Because in Dark Souls, well, and Demon Souls, you might not want to fight everybody. So let's see if I can't find somewhere to jump off and get that item I just saw. Which is right there. Hmm. Now... I could slide to... I could try to slide right here and land, but there's a little gap. I don't know if I'll fall through that gap. You know what? Sometimes in this game, no matter how great that item might be, it ain't worth it. See, there's another one right over there, too. I just noticed that. Another body. Sometimes this game teases you with something and stuff to get because it's just like a dead body laying there. Yeah, maybe you could get it, but maybe you can't. If I was not in human form, I would actually do it. But as soon as I am, I won't take the risk right now just because I could able to come all the way down here without dying. Over here is where you meet Patches, who tries to scam you into killing yourself. But anyways, the easiest way to get down here is literally just by falling. There's like a bunch of, um, I'm going to look up real quick to show you. There's a bunch of um, scaffolding. I guess that's the best word for it. You go roll from one scaffold into the next. But in, that's like kind of like the catacombs. Like in Demon Souls, Dark Souls, sorry. You just fall from one to another. But you can just take this pathway and it's really a simple way to go back up. The way I came down here is basically by taking the elevator. Instead of ro rolling my way down, just took the elevator down. And over here, you will see the glowing ball of light. It is a trap. Don't touch it. Or you will blow up. Go past it. And look, that's my stone that I put. And here's somebody. Beware of trap. Oh yeah, that's my message. I wrote that. Yeah, beware of that trap. Because when I saw it, I was like, okay, I did not want to explode. That bear lot of people died. That's another path right there. Yeah, you don't want to mess with this. I actually think there's more stuff down here because I saw some ladders, but at the moment, I'm just going to be going back right now until I get some friends to play with me as well. We'll both all explore it. But now I'm just going to go back because I basically just wanted to get to as far down as possible. And look at that. If you follow the video correctly, you will be able to get right back into this room right here where the big crank is and you can turn it back up. And this down here is where the spide oh hell no oh hell no hell no i'm not fighting them yeah guys not ready for that not in the house later guys you guys just chill over there yeah you see black fandoms or anything that looks red or black around them you might want to stay away from them now. if i only got my heel <laughs> yeah I kind of wish that right here, guys. But yeah, I kind of don't want to fight them. Anyways, this is the way back. But before we go back, I just want to read. Um, I just want to show you. Do you think there will be a hint? I just want to show you the other way you could have came to get here. So all these dead bodies are all because of me. I was actually not trying to do this by myself. But it's just like nobody else wanted to join me for some reason. But as you see, if you come up here, there's dead bodies, dead slugs, and you will be able to see where points where you can roll off. If you walk right here, quick tip, when you first come out of this room right here, you will walk, even though we're going backwards, but some people might not know, you will stand right here to get an item from this dead body. That slug will get, get up and swing and knock you off and kill you. Don't waste your time. If you can see right down there, that's where we all came from, the lava. Those are all the, um, the scaffolding I was talking about before. You can all roll off and go down there. If you want to go down there really quick, you can come over here, find the scaffolding, and roll, roll, roll until you... There's one scaffolding right there with one um, 
one person's body but like I said I don't think some of these items here are gonna even be worth it so let's go ahead and make our way back up the elevator I actually really want to come back and fight those guys in the red but I'm just gonna do it later so for now we will head back this way and I want to go back to the Nexus just so I could upgrade some stuff and do whatever else I need to do. So this is just a hot, final way back to the Nexus right now. And that's another path right there. And there he is. And there you see the stone. Um, I'm going to show you one more thing though real quick. There's somebody right here to summon. I hope these guys are not following me right now. Okay. Now, this is actually something else I've never done. There are a... I don't know how I play this game so much. It's just some reason I didn't mess around in this area. But there are actually rolling off points in here. And I might die just to try going down there. Just like the catacombs again. I want to just see where everything is. Anything I miss in Dark Souls, that's why I'm starting to play again. Um, I really wish my save wasn't deleted because I would be able to basically access everything because I was only high level before my save got deleted. This was before PlayStation Plus. So, yeah. Uh, I, don't know. I just want to read what this guy's session was. But anyways, let's head back to the Nexus and I'm going to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I might be doing some more Dark Souls videos. I keep saying Dark Souls. I really yeah, I keep saying Dark Souls. It's just because I play Dark Souls so much. And I am actually will fight the spider boss real soon. So maybe when I do fight that, I'll have that on video. Until next time, guys. Like, subscribe. For more. Peace.